is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to auto auction rebuilds we are back today at david stanley chrysler jeep dodge ram we're in their used car section here in midwest city because if you guys missed my new year's video i'm considering trading in my ram trx level two that i've had for five months it's one of the longest times i've ever owned a car to be honest with you i generally get rid of cars pretty quick uh, but this one i've had for five months and i think i might be getting rid of it for a 2019 cadillac escalade esv so here it is it's uh it's it's different i'm not quite sure if i love it or hate it um you guys can comment below and tell me i don't know personally i don't like the wheels they're fuel wheels i assume they're probably 22s that's what came on at stock they are they're 22s I don't care for the wheels. I I really don't. I also don't care for the blacked out look that, that it's got going on. Um, and this is, this is paint. There's a lip here. They painted this black. Um, I see a few little hail dings on it. Nothing too crazy. They painted the grill black too. It's a Carfax one owner. It is a clean title. Um, I just don't know if I like it. <laughs> I'm not quite sure if I like it. Now, I know you're probably thinking, oh, why would you want a used, it's got like 67,000 miles on it. You know, a used Escalade when you've got a brand new TRX. Well, the reason is simple, guys. The payments on the TRX are like $1,500 a month. It's, it's up there, it's pretty high and on top of that, I owe 90 something thousand dollars on the TRX. So I was thinking, you know, and you guys know me, I change cars like most people change their underwear. I won't keep it long. I'll be complaining that I need something else and I'll go buy another TRX or something again later. So I'm not really concerned with this thing being slightly used uh, for right now. It's not a big deal because I use my vehicles as vehicles are intended to be used. They work. They're tools for me to do my job with. Whether that's towing or hauling the family, my dog, it doesn't matter. I use my vehicles. They're not meant to be show cars. They're not garage queens, pavement princesses. And this would be no exception to that either. Now this has the, the 6.2 liter, which is 420 horsepower and like 460 pound feet of torque. It's the extended wheelbase. And this is a premier. This is not like the upper tiers. It's not a platinum or anything like that. But it's fairly well optioned for what it is. You can see it has stationary running boards. They, they do not come out on their own. But it does have a very premium interior. It has two Blu-ray DVD screens. I think they just flip down. No, you push a button. There you go. And they come out. You know, I don't have any little kids. So I don't really see how that would benefit me or my family much but maybe because i think somewhere you have inputs for that blu-ray system and maybe on these road trips nick could bring his ps5 plug his ps5 in use the 4g hotspot and play video games across the internet i i don't know um these seats they do flip up like this and then you pull this and the seats come completely up like that so it gives you a nice clear pathway to walk through and you can see you've got those nice third row seats right there. When you get around back here, you open up this. Of course, it opens itself. No big deal. Everything does this these days. You can all see they blacked out the tail lights too. Uh, they tried to make it look kind of cool. It's got the floor mats back here. You've got your push button, uh, third row seats. I believe this will bring the third rows down. There's one. And there's too. Of course, that headrest is in the way, but look at all the room. Look at all the room you've got in here. I mean, it, it, this thing is huge, guys. Under here? Hell, I don't even know. Oh, wow. Okay. It's got like a hydraulic shock back here. There we go. And you've got some storage. This is a trailer brake controller. I know exactly what this is. It's a crying shame they don't come. They come with the, the wires, but they don't come with a trailer brake pre-installed. Isn't that crazy? These will come up on their own. 
Unfortunately, the second row seats do not. If you push this button to fold down the second row, see, it'll fold up, but you cannot bring it back. Close this, push this button. Now there's one kind of scary thing about these Escalades or Yukon Denali's in my opinion, and that is the engines. The engines are not known to be great motors. They're fairly fuel efficient. I think this thing gets like 24, 23, 24 miles a gallon. So it gets great fuel economy with that 10 speed automatic transmission, but there's a downside. The 6.2s are notorious for lifter failure. And that is what scares me the most about this vehicle. It's a nice vehicle. I like it. I've never driven one. Of course, it's a Cadillac, so it has a Magna Ride, the magnetic ride control system. So it should ride like an absolute dream. But my concern lies with that engine. They're notorious for lifter failure, which eats up the camshafts. And before you know it, you've got a destroyed engine. And I don't know if you've looked around lately, but an engine for this truck, it's a lot of money. You can spend a good $6,000 on a used motor. Now, like I said, I've never driven one of these. Let's fire it up. Uh, the Q system, Cadillac user experience is what it stands for. Let's turn that down. There are different ways to operate things in this truck and this infotainment system and the climate control system is kind of notorious for being problematic. It has no gas. None. I think I think our first step will be to put some gas in it. Um, the, the user experience system on this is, yeah, it's kind of rough. There's a, you can swipe under here, I think, and it opens. Is it right there? There we go. You got a little cubby hole with a USB port in there. You can hide some stuff in there, and then you wave your hand under it again, and it's supposed to, it's supposed to close. It's supposed to close. It's supposed to close. There we go. I don't know. Um, let's turn this down. A lot of times these buttons are very sticky and they don't like to function properly. This one seems like it's working fine. The temperature moves when I tell it to move. You can turn it on and off. So that's nice. Volume is muted. We've got our home screen. Yeah, everything here is working great. It's also touch screen, of course. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, that's a big deal. That's one of my big things is does the Q system actually work? You've got all these buttons up here for slide and tilt of the sunroof. This is a security system that you can turn on and off. Believe it or not, there are sensors in here that monitor movement in the truck. So if you leave your truck and somebody's in it and they start moving around, it will set off the alarm. Of course, it's it's a GM vehicle. It has OnStar. You have your multi-screen display here that's got about every dadgum option you could ever hope for. You can scroll through everything. And uh, it's very intuitive, relatively easy to use, especially consider considering I've never used one before. It's not, see, it's not hard. You just move your little toggle switch around here and move things up and down. You can change the screen as you see fit. I do believe there's a sport mode on this as well. I'll have to figure out where that is. I think it's right. Is it there? I can't, I can't figure it. You just push it again. Oh, there we go. You push it multiple times. So if you put it in sport mode, shouldn't it change the display? It did not. Just put it in a performance mode, I suppose. You've got your pedal adjustments here, and then you've got your wireless charging here, which I always need to know if that works. I'm, it's very important to me that this works. That is an iPhone 14 Pro Max. So, uh-oh. Well, there we go, it's charging. Good, because a lot of times this phone does not fit properly, especially with a case. Here's your little storage compartment, and under here you have your headphones for the DVD system. In fact, it's got four of them. That is really nice. Four wireless Cadillac headphones. And if I remember correctly, you can utilize this space in here as a cooler as well. You can keep, I think, up to six drinks cold. So far, I like it. I'm not a big fan of all the black that someone did to it, but truthfully, 
this is not a bad place to be, guys. Now, the Magna Ride is something I have never experienced, so I am kind of interested to see how that's going to ride and if it's something I'm going to like or not. So why don't I get myself situated, get buckled up, and we'll take it on the road. All right, let's take her out for a spin. Like I said, first thing we're gonna do is, is probably go get a little bit of fuel for this bad boy. This is a big SUV, guys. Like I'm, I'm not kidding. <laughs> this is big. I like it though. I do. And you know what? I should probably take it out of sport mode because really who buys one of these for sport, right? Let's put it in touring mode. So the suspension will be hopefully in its most comfortable position. Boy, that sun is just nasty today, isn't it? I'll tell you something, for being a big Bertha, she gets up. And I'm not even I'm not even hammering on it or anything. Before I take it on the highway, I want to just kind of cruise around the city a little bit. Thankfully, David Stanley is so cool to me. They're really good people, man. They really are. Um, they just hand me the keys, sent me down the road. They said, well, you know, take it, see if you like it. And if you do, we'll swap out. And if you don't, then we won't. Now, obviously, if I get this, I'm taking on a lot of risk because it doesn't come with a warranty. And I probably don't want to know what an extended warranty would cost. I could probably talk to GM and see if there is an extended warranty program for this. It's got 63,000 miles. So maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Um, but the good news is, it is a Carfax one owner and it has been dealer certified, uh, dealer serviced its whole life, which means you know that they've used the right type of oil. You know the oil changes have been done on time. And that is one of the biggest reasons these engines fail is because people use the wrong types of motor oil. They take them to these cheap hole in the wall places that throw the wrong weight of oil in them and they don't change their oil like they're supposed to. So this could be, a good vehicle again it's not perfect but they're not asking a perfect price for it they're asking like 4500 or 4500 45000 dollars for this escalade and the uh the book value that i've got on it from jd power and associates is 53. so they're giving it to me for a little bit less because truthfully nobody's buying these nobody is shopping for big cars right now interest rates are through the roof my credit score is well above a 700 and my interest rate is at 8.3 percent if i buy this put that in perspective a year ago my interest rates were three percent on the vehicles i was purchasing so it's bad um it's really bad however my payments go from 1500 dollars a month down to nine which is really nice insurance also goes down and I still have a vehicle that's capable of towing somewhere right around 8,000 pounds. And it is a very, very comfortable ride. I'm here to tell you guys, the Escalade, this is a nice place to be. All right, we went and got some fuel. I only put like 25 bucks in it. There's a Yukon Denali in front of us, an XL. I love those two, I really do. All right, let's get her on the road. We'll set the cruise control. I'm just curious to see what kind of fuel economy we can get. Just rolling down the highway for a few miles because I am used to what people just drive like complete idiots, don't they? I am used to getting on the best day, 14 miles a gallon. And truthfully, like normally, uh, 10 to 12 combined, but 14 is as good as I have ever gotten on the interstate unloaded. So I'm curious to see what kind of fuel economy this can get. Does this have adaptive cruise? It does not seem to have adaptive cruise. If it does not have adaptive cruise, that is something I will really, really miss. Collision alert warning. It's got that. It's got four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, auto. It's got it's got all that stuff, guys. Four high, four low. You know, all the good stuff there. It's hard to imagine a Cadillac today, a 2019 Cadillac, that doesn't come stock with adaptive cruise control. I don't know about all that, guys. Uh... I'm gonna turn the cruise up just a hair. I'm gonna try it again to see if it will automatically back off of traffic. Cause I don't I don't think it will. I'm torn on this guys. It won't. No. 
So it does not have adaptive cruise. No way, man. No way. That blows my mind. Obviously, we've got our navigation up. Fuel economy is looking good. She's uh, getting 16.3 miles a gallon. Cruise is set at 65. It drives straight as an arrow. It really is a nice place to be. There's very little noise. Road noise is really kept to a minimum. TRX road noise is pretty obnoxious to be expected from those big meaty tires. And the fuel economy already is, it's just, it's really good. It's for what it is, for being a big, a big behemoth. Uh, the gas mileage is really, really, really good. Like, we're getting 17.8 now. I, I could live with that. I could totally live with that. Um, but, man, I know it sounds stupid to hang everything on adaptive cruise control. That seems like such a small thing, but I'm used to having adaptive cruise. And I don't know if you guys can see, but I have a heads-up display right there. I don't know if you guys can see that in your screen or not, but heads-up display is nice it's got a lot of nice features it rides well it sounds good it seems to be a decent vehicle overall am i going to be happy with it long term yeah I, I i don't know guys probably not i think the trx is as close to the perfect vehicle as i have ever found and i'm totally in love with that truck at the same time there's another aspect to this that a lot of people don't think about these vehicles are business expenses. They are used for work. They haul, they take me from one place that I'm working to another, to another, to another. With that being said, 2022 is over. So it's time to get rid of it, lose some money, and spend some money on something else that I don't need to help offset my tax debt for this coming year. A lot of this does have to do with taxes, guys. I'm not just some crazy person that gets rid of my cars all the time for no reason. I have fun buying cars and enjoying them and then getting rid of them and getting new ones, but I also have fun not having to pay all of my money to the IRS because I would rather spend it on toys than hand it to the government. You know, to each their own. Some of you may think that that's irresponsible and it would be better just to pay the taxes in full, but I would rather take the money and enjoy it and utilize it on things that I can use for my business. So that's where we're at. I'm going to drive this thing back. We're now getting almost 20 miles a gallon. We're at 19.9, cruising down the interstate with no issue. Guys, I'm, I'm really torn on this. But I gotta be honest with you, I'm, I'm, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll decide on my way back to David Stanley. All right, guys, it's getting dark. I'm right around the corner from David Stanley. I, I just, I don't know what to do. I've been sitting here idling for a while. Uh, we're still got 18.3 miles a gallon on the clock here. I, I like it. I really do. I really like it. I, I don't love it. It's a truck, whether you want to admit it or not. It is a truck. It's a body on frame. She's a big bohemoth of a truck. There's a couple things that I kind of like, though. It's, it's super easy to get in and out of. That's a plus. And you either love or you hate the blacked out look. Personally, I kind of hate it, but maybe it'll grow on you. I love the cascading lights that go down. Those are very nice. That's very classy, I think. The jewel lights. Oh, yeah. I think those lights look super good. Whoever did the black paint on the hood and the grill, they did a really, really, really bad job painting. But, you know, I did they, and they did the roof, too. Oh, wow. You know, I don't know. What do you do? Do you take it to Mako and <laughs> ask them, can they, can they fix it? Can the auto spa fix it? Do you just buy another hood and another, and another grill? I don't know. 
I don't know, man. Or do you just leave it the hell alone, drive it, enjoy it for what it is, and when the time comes, which probably will be five or six months, swap it out for something different. I do kind of like that. I wish you could remove the second row seats. I know you can't see in here because it's gotten dark now, but I wish the second row could come out so that there would be more room. But I can promise you my dog would absolutely love having all of these seats to jump around on. She would thoroughly enjoy this. The Q system, let's see if I can pull this down for you. Hopefully it comes to life. I didn't even check that to make sure it works. And it does. That is nice. That's real nice, actually, <laughs> if, if I'm being honest. Oh, it's got an HDMI input, too. Yeah, guys, I can already tell you Jessica doesn't want me to buy this because she's got more sense than I do. I love the elongated taillights. Um, I think you put your foot under here. No, that doesn't work on this. Okay, some of them have it, some of them don't. Nick does not want me to get this. Nick loves the TRX. This is kind of like a bougie, look at me, I'm important because I drive an Escalade. I mean, that's not how I feel at all. I'm just looking for something cheaper. Something's going to save me a little bit of money. Uh, fuel is huge, guys. The fuel thing is huge. And the fact that we're sitting here idling and it's still at 17.7 .7 miles a gallon when we just reset the trip... That's a big deal. Um, I guess I'm going to go talk to the dealership and let's see what we can work out. By the end of the video, we will either have an Escalade or we will go home in the TRX. Right now, I still don't know. Well, I, I know that this is going to shock you as much as it just shocked me, but um, the Escalade, guys, I loved it. I really did. I just don't know for sure that an Escalade or Yukon is the way to go for me. I, 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 I just don't, I don't know. Here's something I do know. I love my trucks. I love my Ram trucks. So if the idea is let's lower some debt, let's lower some payments. Well, here is a 2021 Ram 3500. That's right, a one ton. It's got a little bit of miles on it, but it's still under warranty. It's a Cummins. It's got the nice chrome running boards, and she's been used. I mean, there's no doubt about that, which is fine. I told you guys, I'm not, I'm not super picky, man. Um, she's obviously been used to haul. It's been, it's been worked, and obviously she's pulled a fifth wheel more than once in her life. But that said, it's a basic truck. If I remember right, it's just a big horn. It doesn't have any fancy screens. It doesn't have really any fancy anything the seats go up like that the seats go down like that you've got some storage space in the floor which again you guys can't see so we're not going to waste our time it's got the towing mirrors and everything because i mean it's a one ton truck so they expect you're going to be towing with it so if we're going to be hauling honestly this this isn't bad this little screen here will be hard to get used to that's that's going to be difficult to get used to. But you got your integrated trailer brake down here and your tow haul mode. And that radio is that that screen sucks. But again, I'm trying to stay positive here. The idea was lower debt. Um, I'll probably go right back into it again in the future. But for now, the, the goal is to, to lower some debt. This is nice. It's a big truck. It's a big, heavy truck. There are no warning lights on the dash. It just came out of service. It's fresh on the lot. I've got to get all that shiny crap off the dashboard because I hate it. But uh, why don't we go take this thing on a quick spin? Let me get buckled up. Let's see how it does. And on the road again. Here we go. Oh, she's a big truck. <laughs> oh, yeah. I kind of missed it, guys, if I'm, if I'm honest. All right. Oh, that diesel's no joke. Good Lord, she gets it, boys. She gets it. I've had one of these before. I don't know why I'm so surprised, but... 
yeah she's got no problem getting it low option truck i mean it's got like it's got nothing she's got zero options but he said this truck is probably still somewhere in the 40s so relatively low miles it is four-wheel drive let's turn here and let's get it on the highway real quick it seems it seems good it's got great tires 60,000 miles 63,000 miles that's that's a lot of miles for a uh, 2021 but like I said it's still under warranty powertrain anyway boy when that turbo kicks in she just she hauls she does she hauls rides good it's quiet steering is straight steering feels good I'm telling you man a lot of people think Ram makes like crap, <laughs> that old Fiat stuff, man. But I'm telling you, maybe other people have had different experiences, but my experience with these things have been great. I, I love Ram products and it's not like they pay me to say it. I don't get anything for it. David Stanley doesn't even give me a discount for telling you guys how great they are. You know, they treat me right. And that's all I can tell you, you know. Let me, let me try out the cruise control again. We have no adaptive cruise. That kind of sucks. I really got used to the adaptive cruise control. Let me turn on some heat. It's a little cold in here. Let's warm it up a little bit. All right, there we go. Well, we're cruising down the highway. She's solid as a rock. A one ton, good Lord, guys. I have no use for something this big, but it's relatively cheap. It's more along the lines of what I'm used to driving. And believe it or not, I kind of like it. I, I think this may be the one. Well, it's the next day and I guess the verdict is in. Yep, we brought home a used 2021 Ram 3500 bighorn in other words base model basic work truck it's used to it it's got 63,000 miles on it and as you can tell from the bed she has been used to working her entire life so the things i'm going to throw at it are probably not going to be anything like what this truck is used to dealing with that bed um <laughs> we could try to clean that out some i'm going to be honest with you i I don't think there's going to be a lot we can do to clean that out. It's nice that it came with the uh, the ball, though, and it came with the tie-downs. That's nice. I do have the ones that come factory from Ram when uh, Santa from Santa's Workshop and I brought home that giant farm truck uh, from Kansas. My first 3500. Now, am I happy with the truck? Am I happy with my purchase? Yeah, for the most part, it serves its purpose. It's not fancy. It doesn't have any of the factory fancy electronics that I was used to in the TRX. And that is probably the biggest thing that takes getting used to is no giant screens, no fancy buttons everywhere. I don't even think this thing has Sirius XM. Um, it is, it's super basic. But that's what I said I wanted. That's what I was looking for, and that is exactly what I got. Now, I've done some preliminary figures on the fuel economy, and I went and I filled the truck up today after driving it for about 150 miles, and I realized diesel fuel, at least here in Oklahoma, is just about 20 cents over premium unleaded um, right here in the same state. So there's about a 20 cent per gallon difference between premium unleaded that I was putting in the TRX and diesel fuel. Now there is a added expense because not only do you have diesel fuel to consider, you also have to deal with that nasty smelling DEF crap. Um, now granted, that's not super expensive. You don't need to put it in very often. It's every now and again. Oil changes, this truck goes considerably longer between oil changes than the TRX did, about twice as long, but the oil changes cost about twice as much. So it'll cost me right about the same as far as general maintenance goes on this truck. 
I am averaging currently 18.1 miles a gallon, whereas the TRX would generally average combined somewhere around 11 between city and highway driving. Uh, that's a considerable difference. And I figured out over the 20,000 miles that I put on the TRX, it would have saved me $3,000 in fuel costs in just five months. So in a year, we'd be looking at probably $7,000 in fuel savings on a diesel versus the TRX. I don't know about you, but when you drive as much as I do, that's a substantial savings. All right, guys, so I had to go eat dinner and, you know, it got dark on us. Here's the deal. The truck, as far as towing, what kind of fuel economy does it get? I don't know. I have no idea. Was this really a better deal than the TRX? I'm not even sure about that either, guys. But I'm sure there's some of you out there that probably know because you probably do this, maybe even for a living. Maybe you're a hot shotter, you've got one of these trucks, and you know what a 3500 is going to get pulling a trailer. It's important to keep in mind that I'm probably never going to be pulling a gooseneck with this truck. Although, maybe I'll go buy a gooseneck. I don't know. Most likely, the only thing I'm going to pull behind this truck starting tomorrow, stick with me, I know it's dark, but tomorrow I won something from Insurance Auto Auctions, and I got to go pick it up. Um, and this, this will be my first tow with the new Ram. We're going to take this 20-foot trailer, and we are going to go grab my new vehicle. Um, supposedly doesn't run. And we're going to go pick it up and haul it down to AR headquarters. So our first tow with the new vehicle is coming. Stay tuned for the video. Don't miss it. This Jeep, I swear to you, it makes great lawn ornament, man. It looks so good sitting here. Um, I just, <laughs> I hate having vehicles that just sit. Um, we haven't started her up in a while. There's my tag. I was wondering where that was. We haven't started her up in a while. Let's try it out. Oh, is it locked? Why do I lock it? I've got a sheriff that lives next door to me. I don't need to lock anything up around here. Okay, here she is. I love this little light on my camera. It enables me to bring you guys more places. Let's see what she wants to do. I haven't fired any of my cars up in a while. The fact that the ignition turns on, that's a good sign. Fired right up, man. Oh, yeah. I actually like this little Jeep, guys. I <laughs> really do. It does ride like crap. Um, and it's not that it's bouncy or that the suspension is really bad or anything as far as, you know, the up and down travel. It's, it's the front end is just, and those tires, it's got no power. I agree that it needs to be re-geared. Probably something like 411s front and back or something like that. I don't know. It definitely needs to be re-geared though so that it can handle having those 33s don't know how much that's going to cost i just know it's a job that i don't really want to do i've got no experience doing gears and uh i don't want to be responsible for breaking something so this is something i'd rather leave to a professional but anyway there's the jeep she'll sit there and run for a minute but let's go over to the cadillac um, it hasn't been started. It's been at least two weeks, probably more than that. I pulled it into the garage and then we left for, uh, Indiana and we just got back. Let's see if the uh, battery is still charged. Yeah. Look at that. No smoke either. No smoke out of the exhaust. Another car that I just love love the living crap out of this little car man um i've got some new cars coming to the channel i've got a uh why are all the lights on the dash that's new <laughs> isn't that the way it goes <laughs> isn't that the way it goes you leave home and you come back and magically we've got lights on the dash well, we could turn that off Oh, she is so damn... Oh, there they go. They went off. Okay. And then you got to put the key in it and uh, turn the ignition on. The check engine light, I think we've mentioned this before, but the check engine light is... It's a code 
for the secondary air injection pump or the smog pump, whatever the case may be on this car, that's what it is. It's nothing. Like, it doesn't affect fuel economy. It doesn't affect the way it runs. It's not going to cause damage to catalytic converters. Nothing like that at all. It's just a stupid code for a bypass valve or something related to the, uh, to the uh, smog pump. Listen to this thing. <laughs> I love this freaking car. I really do. And I just, I love the two-tone. I love that two-tone. Let's pop the hood. If I can, where is the hood release? You know what? I don't remember. <laughs> I just drove, there it is. I just drove this thing. And I can't remember where the hood release is. She runs so good. It leaks absolutely nothing. You can park it in your garage. It's just this dent right here. Ooh. That just kills me. I haven't taken the time to look for another hood yet. I should probably, uh, I should probably get on that. But unfortunately, I'm leaving for Florida in just a few days, so I really won't have any time to be searching for anything for this car until I get back. But listen to her purr, man. That good old V8. Man, I can't wait till my Cadillac Fleetwood gets here. I am very very excited to bring home my my last year it's the last year 1996 Cadillac Fleetwood that's got the uh, 5.7 the LT1 that was in the Corvette it's a detuned LT1 but still LT1 from a Corvette it's super low miles like 60,000 miles on that thing and I stole it I got it for a song and a dance guys I also got an Aston Martin it's on the way it's a 2008 Aston Martin V8 Vantage uh, Roadster I got it for a song and a dance too, under $25,000. Yeah, for a car that should easily be 40 grand with relatively low miles as well. So I've got a lot of cars coming and then tomorrow, like I said, I've got to get up early and I got to get down to IA with the trailer and we are going to go pick up something new that I won. I think it's very unique. It's very interesting, at least in my opinion. And it's pretty old, it's from the 90s. You know, I love my 90s crap on here, right? It is an American car. I think we can go ahead and shut all this down. She's warming up. There we go. Um, And that one is crazy, guys, because I got it for 400 bucks. I guess I'll go ahead and lock it because well, I've already been locking everything anyway, right? There we go. I got it for $400. It's supposed to be a non-runner, but uh, I don't know. Something tells me that it probably runs with that, I think we've given you a sufficient update to things that are going on. You saw the cars that we test drove, or the car, two of them, cars that we test drove, and you see what I decided on. So there it is, there it was, we are done. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get out of here. I wanna thank each and every one of you for taking the time to watch my videos, and I've, I've had a lot of people, a lot of people asking to buy the Seville. At this moment, it is not for sale. I, I don't, I don't want to tell you some plan. I've got some things. There's a lot going on. We, you know, they're going to Florida, going to Louisiana. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. I don't want to. I don't want to get into too much detail with any of it. But the Seville, maybe it's something I'll consider letting go after I get back from my Florida trip. But like for right now, I really, I love this little car. I really do. But maybe when the Fleetwood gets here, maybe. Maybe then I'll be ready to get rid of it, or maybe I'll want to hold on to it and keep it with the Fleetwood. I, I have no idea. You know me, though. Everything is for sale, so at some point, the Seville will most likely go up. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Hit the thumbs up button if you like today's video, and if you like the new truck that you can't see in the background. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.